Are you having a problem which phone to buy, whether the Nova 7 SE or the Nova 7? Well, I'm here to help you and just watch this video until the end. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. the Nova 7 SE and the Nova 7. The only difference that is the chipset. Nova 7 SE has Kirin 820 chipset while the Nova 7 has the Kirin 985 chipset. The only thing I notice when it comes to the width of Nova 7 SE is medyo wide siya. Although konti lang ang difference siya sa millimeter when it comes to the width versus to the Nova 7. Pero pansin may pagka wide niya eh. Ito, this one. Highlights ko lang yung camera nila. When it comes to Nova 7 SE, it can only do up to 10 times digital zoom sa photo and 6 times zoom sa video. Whereas sa Nova 7, it can do up to 20 times digital zoom sa photos and 10 times zoom sa videos. So, alam yung difference nila. And also the difference on the front cam. The Nova 7 SE's front cam is 16 megapixels and it can record only up to 1080p video. Whereas the Nova 7 front cam is 32 megapixels and it can do up to 4K video. When it comes to the material, the Nova 7 SE is plastic, this one. And for the Nova 7 is glass, 3D glass. So why you should buy the Nova 7 SE? Number one, it has a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack. Number 2, it has expandable memory of up to 256GB. So, an internal memory of 128GB plus 256GB equal 384GB. So, medyo malaki-laki na siya if you want to store videos and photos on this phone. Number 3, mas cheaper siya sa Nova 7. Now, why you should not buy this Nova 7 SE? First of all, your front camera niya is not 4K when it comes to the video recording. Number two, no NFC. Number three, your screen time neto is not OLED. So yon. So reasons why you should get the Nova 7 5G. Number one, it's very obvious sa OLED screen niya. Maganda siya especially when playing games and watching videos on this phone. Number two, it has the 4K front cam. Selfie camera in 4K siya. I like it. Number three, it has NFC. Some people need NFC. Siguro sa mga high-tech na countries. But for now, hindi masyado applicable sa Philippines. And this phone is lighter than the Nova 7 SE. Mas magaang siya ng 9 grams. And, mapayat konti. So, reasons not to buy this Nova 7 5G. Number one, it has no earphone jack. So number 2, it has no expandable memory. Uh, 4K pa naman yung video quality nitong phone, front and back cameras. So it needed more space to store videos and photos coming from this phone. Yeah. 
and it is a bit expensive than the Nova 7 SE. And I would like to remind you guys that both of them has no Google Play and it is not capable of wireless charging and it is not waterproof so don't try it okay anyway may app gallery naman sila which you can download games and apps and i know they're updating their apps periodically so abang abang na kayo sa mga favorite apps niyo baka lumabas na rin dito and both of them are good in playing in heavy games mobile legends call of duty and pubg Hindi ko random ang difference nila when it comes to playing games. Paro silang good, very good in playing games. And matipid sa battery yung both chipset nila, kahit ibang model ng chipset nila, pareho matipid sa battery, hindi kayo magsisisi. And last of all is, they are capable of 5G signals. Yeah. So guys, I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo whether to buy the Nova 7 SD or the Nova 7. Again, both of them are 5G phones. And guys, as a thank you, I'm going to give this away. This is ProMate headset. It says it can play up to 26 hours. So, para manalo kayo nito, just read the instruction on the video description. Again guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!